It was very concerning to see the reports of intimidation through the by-election and by all accounts one of the most divisive campaigns that we've seen in recent times. You know, I'm pleased that the Conservative Party was the only party to run a really positive campaign focused on local issues with a great local candidate, Paul Ellison, and uh, you know, well, well, that's where we are. Do you welcome them back though? As I said, I'm well, pleased that the Conservative Party ran a positive campaign focused on local issues. Your plan to send asylum seekers to Rwanda is now set to cost over half a billion pounds. That's a bad deal, isn't it? I mean, will, will we see asylum seekers in Rwanda by the time an election is called? Well, the current situation is unsustainable and unfair. Taxpayers are already forking out millions of pounds a day to house illegal migrants in hotels across the country. That's not right. And that's why I made stopping the boats one of my priorities. I'm pleased that we've made progress. Last year, the numbers were down by a third. That never happened before. Shows that the plans are working. But in order to fully resolve this issue, we need to have a deterrent. We need to be able to say, if you come here illegally, you won't be able to stay. We can remove you to a safe country. That's why the Rwanda scheme is so important. It's the worthwhile investment, and I'm determined to see it through. Would you like to see UK residents and non-DOMs pay UK tax, I should say, just like your wife has chosen to do? Well, I, I'm sure people will understand it wouldn't be appropriate for me to comment on tax policy or fiscal matters ahead of a budget. But what we are doing, because economic conditions have improved and our economic plan is working, is we've been able to cut tax for everyone in work across the UK. A significant tax cut, national insurance being cut by two percentage points in January. And that means for someone on an average salary of around £35,000, a tax cut worth £450 that started benefiting every Everyone, as I said at the start of this year, it shows that our plan is working and if we stick with it, I can deliver peace of mind that there's a brighter future for everyone across the country.